little sketch of all these serpents on the Last Supper. Now I sort of thought, no, I'll do Tasmanian devils instead. But I always sort of had that in my mind. I did the Tasmanian devil thing. Uh, some people might know that I got in a bit of trouble over that because uh, some people got upset. But they probably didn't see it in context. Um, so when you see this in the context of all this, you know, you can sort of get the joke. But if you don't, if you see it by yourself, you know, as I said, some person got upset and that painting uh, got a little bit famous and, uh, Good. yes. <laughs> but then I sort of thought, oh, about a year ago, I thought, I really did want to do the serpents, so I started painting this one here. And I thought, well, again, you know, I can't just do this one. I have to sort of do these other ones to put it in context. Otherwise, people are going to get upset. <laughs> Most of them are Australian snakes. Um, I guess I, I, I suppose my favourites would be the carpet python, because it's just fun to play with. Um, tiger snakes and copperheads would be my favourite snakes, because the other ones I play with on a regular basis. And have pets. You don't have pythons, do we? No, no. So this one here, the birth of snake Venus. <laughs> Surely that speaks for itself, that snakes are beautiful. Yes. Uh, which is also, you know, why Eve over there is actually being tempted by a snake. Because why would she be tempted by something that is ugly and nasty? She's tempted by something that's beautiful, which is a snake. And so, yeah, mixing up all the mythologies here with uh, Venus. And again, there's my couple of favourite snakes there, tiger snakes and copperheads. And just recently... Um, Jan and I went to Western Australia and we uh, had a bit of an experience with Judites, which was fun. Now this one here, it's like a snake utopia. <laughs> planet of the snakes. What would happen is snakes, you know, around the planet, you know, instead of people. Would. So here's all these snakes that are just very happy because nobody's trying to bash them on the head or step on them. <laughs> Which unfortunately is what uh, us humans try to do too often to these beautiful solar-powered rat catchers. <laughs> try and knock them on the head. So I sort of thought, yeah, this is really nice. And uh, it almost drove me insane doing this one. Because when you get up close, you can see it's just done little dots. I tried all sorts of shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. You just had to dot, dot, dot to get that one looking like that. Um, the original painting would easily be double that size. Uh, but the, which means, you know, the dots probably don't have to be as fine and it works, but uh, yeah, doing it smaller do have its challenges. It must have taken ages. Yes, leaks. Started at the craft fair, yes. but to look, <laughs> well, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, this one over here. I call it the Raft of Reptile Rescue. Um, <laughs> One of the things that I've done a lot uh, all over the north here and down the northwest coast is rescue snakes from people. I'm mean, sorry, rescue, yeah. relocate yeah. snakes. Yeah. And uh, so here we've got all these miserable looking snakes. Some are dying and just waiting to be rescued. And just on the horizon there is like a hand with a snake hook <laughs> coming to rescue them. So, like I said, I've um, handled and played with and got up close and sketched nearly all these snakes, except for the next ones, um, which is in there too. Uh, yellow belly sea snakes, which unfortunately I've only ever really experienced pickled in the Queen of Victoria Museum. But I was uh, doing a Van Gogh and I was sort of thinking, well, what sort of snakes would he do? He just loves yellow and blue, yellow and navy, so I had to pick the sea snakes for the starry night. And so there they are, just sort of like, you know, floating around the sky. 
little bit like mythological creatures. Well, the next one's sort of interesting. <laughs> the American Gothic. And one of the things that struck me about these snake church uh, guys is that they never wear a suit, ever. It's always like you know, a button-up shirt or it's overalls. And these guys have to go to court because you know somebody's being bitten, somebody dies, you know, they end up in court. They go to court in their overalls. So I'm looking at American <coughs> Gothic and I think these guys have got overalls. And I'm sort of thinking, yeah, this is sort of work. Um, Grant Wood tried to start a movement called regionalism. And so in Idaho, where he was, he um, you know, draw or he painted around what he thought the people were in that actual area. So maybe this is what he would have done if he was in Kentucky or Tennessee on the other side. So that's why I um, named this one, They Shall Take Up Serpents. And I'm sure a lot of people probably heard about these churches. They would just pick up serpents because that's what they to do in the Bible. Uh, in Tasmania, it's pretty not a lot of option because that religion will die out really quick. It's <laughs> 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 been a lot more venomous than that. <laughs> and when you travelled to America, you saw the rattlesnake when you were travelling? Yes, yes, we saw the rattlesnake at um, Oklahoma, the yes. diamond back one, yes. Yep. And finally, this one here. <clears throat> We call the persistence of serpents, as I say, but they've put up with humans, and yet still they persist. They've sort of made it through, and hopefully, when us humans can understand that these solar power rat catchers are just here to take our rats from us, and we can live in peace with these guys. Otherwise, you know, the other possibility is that they might be here a long time after us. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed. The exhibition. Thank you very much. Thank you.